A really nice summer weekend uh, is on the way for the last weekend of September. We have clear skies today. We're going to have those all weekend as well. But overnight tonight with the light winds are low 53 Sioux Falls, 49 Aberdeen, 54 Pier, 53 in Rapid City. And then tomorrow, a sunny day across the area and light winds. 86 in Sioux Falls, 86 in Aberdeen, 90 in Pier, 95 degrees in Rapid City. Temps will be about the same on Sunday as well. Details on that coming up. Kelloland News starts now. Live from Kelloland Media Group. Kelloland News, first at four. Coming up, how you can help Rapid City Police find a car that hit a person. Plus, we'll tell you what we know about a fire near a western South Dakota elementary school. And how officials are getting ready for the Twin Cities Marathon. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to First of Four. I'm Dan Centella. And I'm Kelly Volk. One person was taken to the hospital after being hit by a car in Rapid City last night. Police say officers were called to an intersection in the northeast part of town around 9 o'clock local time. Officers found a person unresponsive on the ground. They were taken to the hospital with serious non-life-threatening injuries. Police talked to witnesses and learned that a light-colored car hit the person and left the area. If you have any information, you're asked to call Rapid City Police. A driver and passenger were taken to the hospital after a crash west of Arlington this morning. A second driver was not hurt. The Kingsbury County Sheriff's Office says it happened just before 8 o'clock. Authorities tell us a pickup and garbage truck were involved in the crash. Authorities in Deadwood are looking to what sparked a fire at a home behind the Lee Deadwood Elementary School. Firefighters were called to the home on William Street just after 2 o'clock local time this morning. Officials shared these pictures of the blaze. Flames could be seen coming from the roof of the home. Everyone inside was able to get out safely. One firefighter suffered minor injuries. Crews from Lead, Spearfish, and Whitewood also responded to the fire. Firefighters fought the blaze for six hours. Well, more warm weather. We keep repeating our weather from the day prior. I know, right? It's kind of like Groundhog Day. Yeah, I'm having kind of a problem with us calling it warm now. We just in the Sioux Falls area hit 89 degrees. I think we can call it hot, can't we? It is late September after all, and we have hardly any wind, just light north breeze, and we have no clouds in the sky. It is hot out there, and it's going to stay hot out there, as pretty much the case all across Kelland. Aberdeen right now, blue sky, 83 degrees with a northeast breeze there. Here's Lake Madison. Now, it is warm. And 84 degrees. I just feel like there should be more boats out there. Uh, maybe this weekend because it is going to be a great summer weekend. In uh, Pier, 87 degrees. You can see the blue sky there. And in Rapid City, also with a sunny sky. No wind and 84 degrees. Here you see the temps all across the Kelloland region. Everybody way above normal for this time of year. In fact, Sioux Falls, our average high 71 so we're 18 degrees above average, and there's more of that on the way. Oh, by the way, look at the other thing that's missing. Not many arrows on the screen. We have hardly any wind all across the Kelloland region, and we won't have any wind tonight with a light breeze. 53 Sioux Falls, 49 Aberdeen, 54 in Pier 53 in Rapid City. Enjoy your evening. And enjoy tomorrow. It is going to feel like July out there. 86 in Sioux Falls with a very light northeast breeze. 86 in Aberdeen, 90 in Pierre, 95 degrees in Rapid City. Temperatures won't change much for Sunday either. And uh, the unfortunate thing is we don't have any raindrops in the forecast again anytime soon. We'll talk about that in future in the, just a couple of minutes. Thank you, Jay. Some big changes are coming next year for the Mega Millions Lotto game, whether or not South Dakota Lottery Commission or any other state that sells the tickets agrees with them. Changes include the $2 ticket price that's been in place since 2017. It's going to go up five, up to $5. The current $1 megaplier option will also be dropped and replaced by a new computer-generated multiplier for each and every ticket. The changes will take effect in April. Our Bob Mercer has a closer look at the changes and why they are beyond state control. That's waiting for us right now on the Capitol News Bureau page. In Minneapolis, this year's Twin Cities Marathon is officially a sellout. It comes a year after extreme heat forced organizers to cancel the race that day. Now, with the race just over a week away, those same organizers say excitement is running high. Adam Dexter with our CBS affiliate in Minneapolis shares what they've learned from a year they'd rather forget. If 
planning a marathon was a marathon itself. It's a high degree of organized chaos. Dean Orton might call these days. You know, there's always those unexpected uh, little twists and turns. The final kick. The Twin Cities Marathon sold out nearly two weeks in advance. <laughs> nearly half the field. It's not easy to do. Made up of racers who'd signed up for last year's canceled race. It was not simple uh, to do what we did and uh, making those hard decisions. And at the end of the day, that stands out. Marathon training is a bear. Um, Runners like know. Dre House praying for a picture perfect do over. Hopefully this is that that perfect year for us. Never know. It's part of it. Part of the, the dice roll when you sign up. A dice roll, Orton says. Heat is a, is a much more prevalent va variable to deal with. Organizers can't afford to gamble on. This year, we're just preparing for red right out of the box. We found it's easier to scale those down than to, to be ready to scale them back up in a week or so. When it comes to this long run, they've already got the races long run in mind. And we're going to start to look at 2026 and beyond. If those probabilities over time look like, um, you know, the first week in October becomes less and less green and more and more likely of, of black level, then that's something we're prepared to, to look at and to make a change. In Minneapolis, Adam Duxter, WCCO News. Orton says even years from now, it's unlikely and difficult to push the race back more in the calendar. Instead, he's hoping to see good weather and great crowds for this year's race.